Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be using the 18A Blue Year Away palette by Morphe and I'm starting with the shade So Dazzling. Lately I've been so in love with cool tones and this has become one of my favorite palettes ever. <laughs> so we're going to be applying this shade onto our crease and we are going to make sure that we blend that very, very, very good. Also, I'm slowly packing this shade and slowly building up the intensity of it so that I don't make a mess. Now I'm going in with the shade Sky's the Limit and this blue, you guys, is so beautiful. I'm going to be using a pencil brush to apply this and first I like to do it very, very slowly, dragging my brush side to side all the way around to trace exactly where I'm going to be applying it. And then I'm going to be using a clean brush just to blend that out and start building that color up. Don't worry if the color starts to fade out a little bit, that's totally normal. We're still going to be applying more of that shade, so it's okay because we're going to be intensifying that color. This time I'm starting my eyeshadow from dark to light. Sorry, it's taking a while to blend, but that's necessary in order to get this to look more smoky. And this probably looks like a mess right now, but I promise that it will get a lot better. I thought of using these blue shades for a Christmas makeup tutorial because not a lot of people like to use cool tones, but I'm weird, so blue it is. <laughs> okay, so as soon as I'm done using this pencil brush, I'm going to be going in with a clean fluffy brush, and I'm going to be using it just to blend that shade out. It's okay, like I said, if it starts to fade away because we're going to be applying more to intensify the shade. After we blend that shade out, I'm going to be going back in with So Dazzling and I'm going to be packing some more on there because of course the color is gone since we've been blending the other shade on top. So I'm going to be applying some of this so that it can connect to the blue. And now I'm going back in with the so-called clean blending brush so that I can blend those two colors together. Now I'm going in with the James Charles palette and I'm going to be using the shade Playground and I'm going to be applying that in the middle of those two colors. I'm just going to be lightly blending that color in between so that the transition is a lot better. After I'm done with that shade, I'm going to be going in with the so-called clean blending brush and I'm going to be blending those shades together. Next, I'm going back into that palette and I'm going to be using the shade Spooky. I'm going to be applying the shade on the outer corner of my eye and only below my crease and also on that inner corner of my eye. And I'm also going to be dragging this towards the center of my lid as well. I'm only going to be applying a little bit of this shade because black can be a very messy color and I don't want this eyeshadow to look too dark. Next, I'm going in with my favorite makeup remover towels and these are from Neutrogena. And I'm going to be removing some of these shades on that center because I'm going to create a halo eye. So slowly remove some of that eyeshadow from the center and then pat it down with your fingers so that it gets dry. Next, I'm going to be using the Believe Beauty Concealer and I'm going to be using this with a flat brush. I'm going to slowly put this on that spot where we remove the makeup and we are going to try to keep this under the crease so that it doesn't mess up the whole look. This concealer is going to help intensify the shimmery shade that I will be using in just a second. Now I'm going back in with the 18A palette and I'm going to be adding the shade Sapphired Up and it's a very shimmery baby blue. I love this shade. It's so pretty and I didn't really have a lot of fallout so that's really good. And we're going to be applying this only on that spot where we applied our concealer. Now I'm going back in with the shade Sky's the Limit and I'm applying this shade on the sides of our little square so it can start our transitioning process. Basically what this is going to do, it's going to start connecting the other shades together and the more we blend, the more our eye is going to get that smoky effect that we're looking for. Next I'm going back in with the shade So Dazzling and I'm going to be applying this right behind that shade we just applied just so that it starts to blend in this combination of colors is going to create a good transition from dark to light this is important so our concealer doesn't look sharp as if it's just pasted on there with a shade over it next i'm going in with that exact same shade and same brush and i'm going to be applying this on the outer corner of my lower lash line and on the inner corner also on the center you want to leave an empty space because we're going to be applying some concealer so we can create the same effect that we did at the top as well. Now I'm going in with the shade Sky's the Limit and with the pencil brush, I'm going to lightly blend out that darker shade we just used. It's okay if we get a little bit of eyeshadow on that little area that we left blank because we're going to apply some concealer and that should be able to cover it up in case you do get some on there. 
I'm applying some extra eyeshadow because when you're blending, it starts fading a little bit. So I'm building up the color slowly and intensifying the shade. Next, I'm applying concealer with my finger on the center and I'm tapping very lightly and making sure that it's positioned the same as the top and it matches that area. This technique is very new to me. I had never done this to my lower lash line, but I really like it. Now I'm going to be going in with the shade Sapphired Up and I'm going to be applying this very tightly onto that concealer spot. And also you guys, I'm sorry I didn't pay attention and I was facing down when I applied this. So I'm so sorry that you guys can't see what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Now I'm going back in with a blending brush and I'm applying a little bit of the shade So Dazzling so that it connects with the other colors and it gives us the smoky effect that we're looking for. Next I'm going back in with the shade Sapphired Up and I'm going to be applying this on my brow bone. I'm not going to be spraying this with any finishing spray or setting spray or anything like that. I'm going to just be using it as it is like that so that it can blend in with the other shades. And I'm lightly going to be applying this at the top, but I'm not bringing it in all the way to the inner corner. I'm just leaving it where my brow technically arches right under that. I recommend using a flat brush to do this because if you use a blending brush, it's not going to get the product correctly and you're going to have fallout everywhere. And if you use a pencil brush, it's going to apply it too harshly and we don't want that. We want it to look smoky and blended together with the other blue shades that we put on. Using the exact same brush and that same color, I'm going to be applying this on the inner corner of my eye so that it can give this look an extra pop. Now I'm going in with the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. This has become my ultimate favorite mascara to use. I recommend it. It's very, very good. You only need a couple of light coats so that you can get your lashes longer and fuller. I'm, of course, going to be applying just a little bit because I'm going to be using some false lashes with this. If you guys see me bobbing my head around, it's just because I like to listen to music while I'm filming, so don't mind me. <laughs> now I'm going in with my eyeliner on my lower lash line. This is the eyeliner from Italia Deluxe. It's very, very cheap and very inexpensive, so I'm going to be applying this on my lower lash line. This is very optional. You guys can use any other eyeliner that you guys want. I know a lot of people like to use white, but I like to use black, like my soul. So <laughs> after I'm done applying my eyeliner, I'm going to be going in with my false lashes from KJ Lashes. These are in the style Sadia. If you guys are interested, I have the website linked down below in the details that I have written for you guys. So these have become my ultimate favorite eyelashes. I didn't want to apply eyeliner on top because this type of look is smoky and round around my eyes and I feel like a wing would kill it and it would kill the smoky effect. So yeah. Um, by the way, you guys let me know if you guys want me to make a video on how to apply false lashes so I can show you guys step by step on how to do it with tweezers or with your fingers. For those of you wondering what glue I'm using, I have the dual glue. This is my favorite because it's clear. I like to place the glue on the lashes and let them sit till the white glue turns blue. That means it's almost dry. When I apply the lashes, it sticks so easily and it's not wet and I don't have to struggle or wait for it to dry. Also, these eyelashes are very, very light. So that's actually a perk and it applies perfectly fine onto my eyelid. Now I'm going to be going in with one of my favorite lipsticks. This is from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. It's a lip palette. Um, I love this color. This has been my everyday lipstick color for the past like two weeks. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this with a brush. I honestly struggle applying my lipstick like this because of my cupid's bow, but I can manage. It's fine. I totally forgot to use my lip liner to define my lips a little more. The lip liner, like it also helps and makes my lips look a lot more fuller, which I like, but it's okay. I'll use it next time. Ya ni modo. <laughs> But yeah, guys, if you guys want to look like you have fuller lips, use a lip liner. And now I'm just going to let my hair down. And this is the final look, you guys. I hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to click the subscribe button and check out my video up here in the corner. And yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.